Good morning, everyone. I pray today that you're blessed and encouraged. I pray, too, that you had a wonderful Christmas, whether it was with family, family and friends or if you were doing solo. But I pray that you always remember that Jesus Christ was born for you on that day and that Jesus Christ is alive forevermore because of what the Father has done and has been doing in our lives. So rejoice there. As we close out this Christmas season between now and the end of the new year, we're going to look some more at the issues that Christmas brings us. Christmas hope, Christmas peace, Christmas joy, Christmas love. But today we're going to look at a contemporary Christmas hymn by Amy Grant called just simply A Christmas Hymn. Because it speaks to what God has done and how God blesses and speaks into our lives. Here's the words, praise to the God whose love was shown, who sent his son to earth. Jesus left his rightful throne, became a man by birth. The virgin's baby son, all creation praised, God incarnate come, come to Bethlehem. Still higher call had he, deliverance from our sins, came to set all peoples free, from Satan's hold within. For by the sins of man we did fall, by the Son of God he crushed the power of hell. Death we fear no more. Now we stand with strength, with power, the sons of God on earth, faithful to the finest final hour, Christ righteousness our worth. And now all praise is given for the babe, for the Son, the Savior King is risen. Christ is Lord indeed. Did you hear again the story of Jesus there? Jesus is indeed the Son of God who comes to live and work and be amongst us that we may touch, know, and experience him. God's love was shown by sending us his Son. Paul helps us here that Jesus did not equate being equal, equality with God as a thing to be grasped, but humbled himself, taking the form of a servant, becoming a servant, that we may understand and know the Father. The virgin son prophesied so many years before his own birth. God made a promise. A virgin will bear a son. His name will be called Emmanuel. God with us. God incarnate. God, just like you and me. I'm always reminded of the song by Joan Baez, I do believe. What if Jesus was just like us, one of us? Well, the story is this. We're driving through the city one night after our Young Life Club, and the kids are listening to the radio, and they're bouncing in the van, and they're doing all kinds of things. You know, which kids do? We're on our way home, and one young wonderful young woman named Linda said, what if that song was true? What if Jesus was one of us? Well, that's one of those times when you just want to screech, screech on the brakes and go, whoa, ho, stop, let's have this conversation. But we had that conversation while driving the van and then sitting in front of her house with several other kids. We had the talk and the conversation all over again that Jesus Christ had come and was one of us. That we may see, touch, and know and experience him. The nice thing about Jesus is, as we celebrate his birth, again, is that Jesus grew up just like us. He grew up under oppression. Jesus knew what it was like to be poor. Jesus also knew what it was like to be rich and have everything at your command, but Jesus chose to be poor. Jesus came to deliver us, rich and poor. Jesus came to free us from Satan's stranglehold upon us. Jesus has come to set the people of God free that we may know the Father, that we may experience him. Jesus has come 
And this hymn celebrates that one fact that Jesus has come. But then it doesn't stop there. It reminds us, too, that we praise him because the babe was born a king, king of the universe, not just king of Israel. The babe came with a job to do, deliver us from sin. The babe came for a purpose, to set us free, to bring us forgiveness of our sins. The babe came for a purpose, to be our Messiah, to lay down his life that you and I might have life, to give of himself that you and I may know and walk with the Father. Yes, Christmas is important. I say it's the most important event in all human history, right next to it and possibly even greater, which it actually is. It's the day Jesus died and then resurrected from the grave, showing his power over death, him giving himself as a sacrifice for our sins that we may know the Father. The babe came for a purpose. The babe came for a reason. The babe came with an agenda. And that agenda is that you and I might know the Father. That's why we celebrate Christmas. That's why we continue to sing because God has brought us a savior. Born a little baby, we sing that, yes. But we sing and live in the might and the power and the freedom of the Father who's given us the greater gift of not just his son, but forgiveness, righteousness, freedom, and the power and the ability to be called the children of God. All because Jesus was born for you and for me. Lord, we bless you and thank you for today. And Lord, thank you that Lord, we celebrate Christmas all over again. Every day in our lives, Lord, should be Christmas as we look towards Easter. And you're sending us your son to bless us by being like us, that, Lord, we may be like you. In your name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends.